And I didn't find that out until uh, until uh, this past week. And then once I found out that they're the missing link, part of the moving uh, moving equation, and they got involved, and I got them the information they needed two days later. Two days later, I received the therapy that I needed two weeks ago. How about that? Amen. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something. Don't let your faith stand in the wisdom of men. The Bible says, that don't put your confidence in man, but rather put your confidence where? In God. Amen. Put your confidence in God. And so, Galatians chapter 2, verse number 20, talking about faith. Uh, I, uh, Galatians uh, chapter 1, verse, or Galatians chapter 2, verse number 20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh. Now get this. You ought to have this marked in your Bible because this is the mission statement for every believer. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. So the life that you're now living in the flesh, you need to live by faith because you're a child of God. Because you're a child of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And beloved, uh, your giving, uh, uh, your giving is a, has a direct correlation to your love for Jesus Christ. You go through and study the scripture Giving is directly connected to how much and to the degree that you love. For God so loved the world, loved that he what? Gave. And you go through, we look at this portion of scripture here. Uh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And there's other scriptures that I can show you where love and give are in the same verse. And you're giving is directly related yeah. to your love. And people tell me that they love God, but they're not giving any effort to live for Him. They're certainly not giving financially. They're not contributing spiritually. That tells me they don't have a lot of love for their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because there's a direct correlation according to the Scriptures between the two. Galatians chapter 3, verse number 26 tells us, For ye, all, for ye are all the children of God by faith, in Christ Jesus. So when you get saved, you're a child of God by faith, and you're to what? Live Amen. by faith. Amen. 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 And so, Romans chapter 8, verses 24 and 25, For we are saved by hope, but hope that is, uh, is seen is not hope. For what, for what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. And beloved, one day, one day, your faith and my faith will come to an end. Because one day, we will behold him in all of his honor and all of his glory. And the hope that we have now will come to an end. Because it will be, it'll be, I guess I don't say real. It's real to me now. It's see. real to you now. But you'll be able to see him now, amen? Or see him then. And there'll be no need for 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 faith anymore because that faith has become a realization now. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And so, beloved, uh, we'll stop right there. Uh, add to your uh, add to your faith. Well, it starts with faith, does it not? You're saved by faith, mm -hmm. and then you add to your faith. The next week we'll talk about virtue, and then knowledge next week by the grace of God. Some very interesting, uh, very interesting portion of scripture here. And uh, hope it'll be a blessing to you. But we'll stop right there tonight because we've got some business that we need to take care of.